Well, it is Friday afternoon, uh, but just a little afternoon, about five, six minutes, well, about six minutes afternoon on Friday 18th, and we're starting the vlog for the for, for Friday. And I've got an excellent way to have an excellent way to start off the vlog with a package opening. Yeah. Everyone loves these package opening things. I do as well. It's kind of it's kind of like uh, Christmas uh, all year round. <laughs> I don't know why, but even though you, you you've ordered it, you're the one who paid for it. It still seems like a gift. So let's see if I get this package off the first the front cover. Put the scissors down before I put my eye out. <laughs> okay. The first layer is off. There's usually a point where everything kind of begins. So if you can find the tape, because this is a whole bunch of packaging here, a whole bunch of rub. So I found it. Here we go. Coming out. <laughs> most of this video is going to be the un most of the segment is going to be uh, the package opening because it doesn't seem to be coming out. You get to a point and then. Well, there we go. Here's some, here's some more packaging ends. Let's see where the tape is. get this package open. It's a matter of getting past the tape. Where they've, where they've, where they've sealed it. More progress. It's the drill that I ordered. I ordered, so sometimes you order two, thing, two, two of the same thing because I am getting it on a fairly discounted and you don't necessarily know what the quality is so you order more than one so just in case something happens you have more than one thing so this one is actually just is, is a drill kit so it comes with more than just a drill got the bits and everything in it. The last one worked amazingly. Okay, I got the package open, so this is it. And the label's on the other side. So let's open this up here. It's got a bit of packing tape, uh, seal on it. Okay. Let's see what's on the inside. Okay. Oh, nice. Very nice. It comes with drill bits.
it has one of these extension things that you can drill you can drill on an angle that's nice it's got it's got two two batteries the only thing is I'm gonna have to get an adapter because the charger is for European thing. So that's gonna be the only drawback. I thought I was gonna be able to use it right away, but not no such luck. And here's the drill. This is, looks really nice. input either or type of thing okay I just have to get the plug part for it I don't have to get anything else but anyways that's that's it that's the that's the whole thing uh, I will have to sort of fix this up a little bit Nice. Very nice. And it comes with two batteries. And I know where I can get the, uh, oops. I know where I can get the uh, extra um, adapter from. <laughs> so, uh, that's it for the segment, and I'll see you in a couple hours uh, for the rest of the day. Well, we have a more centered picture now. Framing is important. You always have to look at the framing how things uh, kind of come into the works and so on and so forth. Um, I had a very good day today. It's uh, just about uh, 11.20 uh, on uh, Friday, uh, September 18th. I just remember because I did some uh, publishing work. All the publishing is, is, kind of, is, there is the filming for the vlog. There's, there's the filming, there's the editing, and then once you upload it, you have to publish it. And I published to two different blogs. Uh, they're both uh, Cyborg Alpha TV Network. One is on blogspot.com and the other is on WordPress. And keeping the two in sync uh, with the same content in there is uh, a little bit of a task, but not much of a task. I did have, have a chance today to look and offload and look at the videos I've been shooting on my GoPro uh that's on my scooter and it's amazing I, I even looked at i even looked at the night shots there are shots that are at night and they're they're good uh i was surprised i didn't think the picture would come out so good uh that you wouldn't be able to see anything but nice crisp clean picture and the audio is not too bad you can there is no background noise but you can hear me so uh, it, it's, it, it does a good job of what it's, what it's doing, and so I'm happy, I'm happy with the overall result. I fixed up the charging station so it's easier to get it on the charger now. Uh, uh, it was a little difficult before because I'd have to unpack everything to get the cord. See, I have a travel charge, a way I can charge it when I'm traveling. Uh, if I'm parked at a house for a bit and whatever, if I'm there for three or four hours, I can recharge the whole thing in three to four hours. So uh, anywhere I'm going, I'm always leaving uh, with a full battery charge, and, and it's not a particular issue because it's easy to plug in. 
but a lot of times you need an extension cord. So you'd have to take the extension cord out. You'd have to unravel everything, uh, get the component that sort of hooks onto the bike, plug it into uh, the charging port that I have set up for it. Uh, and it, it was kind of uh, it was kind of a, a complicated thing. So it made it more work than it was necessary. What I've done now, I've, uh, I've set up a charging port, and uh, it was basically an extension cord. What I always do is I always use power bars. Power bars provide you a way with switching, safely switching uh, power on and off. So whatever, I, I, started, I hook everything up when the power is switched off, and then I switch everything back on again. So I've got a second uh, charging port now set up uh, for, I have the portable one that does the same thing. And then I have, uh, with a larger extension cord, then I have the one that's uh, permanently affixed to the wall. Uh, so I just pl I, I plug it in, I set everything up, uh, and turn the switch on, and bang, we're charging. So uh, that, that's, a, that's an amazing thing. Uh, it, 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 I really do enjoy the uh, ride of the scooter. I like being outside. I like sort of... And I think it's... It, Everyone talks about speed. Everyone's sort of concerned about you know, how fast are you going. I'm the type of person who enjoys the journey. The journey is enjoy as as enjoyable for me as is the speed. I'm not necessarily a, a one who needs speed. What I like is I like the journey. I like to sort of look around. I like to sort of and you can't do that at you can't do that even at 50 kilometers an hour. So uh, at the speed I'm going, which is about 20 25 kilometers an hour. Uh, I, I'm on the road. I have to I keep my lane properly. Uh, that you have, you have to follow the traffic rules, and you have to keep your eyes on the road more or less. Uh, however, you do get to see some of the side or the side scenery in your peripheral and stuff like that, and you do get to experience the outdoor air, the fresh air. Uh, you feel everything on the bike. You feel the bumps. You feel it on the scooter. You feel everything. So it is an experience for the entire body that that when you're on the scooter. This is exactly what you're feeling and, and what you're experiencing. And I'll be doing that again tomorrow. I'll be going uh, back to my parents' house for dinner and plug it in. And uh, But now I've got the, 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 the transfer system, the, the charging system is much easier to do. So it's easier to bring it in, put it in the charger, and, 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 and where before it wasn't that difficult. And so I'd leave it off the charger for a day. And it, it, it doesn't matter if it's, it, it, it lasts for a couple of days to charge. But I noticed that without a full battery, it does have a bit of a lag to it in terms of the overall speed. But uh, then again, I'm, I'm I'm in the lowest gear. I'm in the uh, it has multiple gears, uh, depending on what's, how fast you want to go, the top speed you want to go to, and it has two motors. Uh, I'm only using one single motor uh, because it's fast enough for me, even on the uphill. So, uh, and the time is the uh, by car. I get to my place, uh, if it were being picked up, it's 15 minutes from door to door. Uh, if I'm on the scooter, it's 20 minutes from door to door. There's not that much of a difference. It's five minutes. What does five minutes mean in, in, in terms of picking up the speed? So I'm not concerned with it. I'm not gonna, it's not going to be an issue for me. And I'm happy with the way things are. As the, and, and, Maybe if, if, if once I get more comfortable with the scooter, because it's only been one week, maybe I'll go up to 30 kilometers an hour. But the thing is, I'm happy with the way things are as they are. I was supposed to end the vlog at 6 o'clock in the morning when I got up, but I just wasn't feeling it. I just barely did the work I needed to do for gaming. Uh, this is one of the games that have these sort of uh, musts that you have to do in order to survive the game, particularly as a uh, free-to-play uh, free player. I'm at, an, at a level now where there is no more free-to-play players anymore. I'm the last one. Nobody else is free to play, uh, and I can tell this because uh, they all have uh, power-ups in, in different characters that you have to pay for, and that tells me that they've actually paid, they've made their first purchase, and they're actually purchasing their way through the game. So these are pay-to-play players. 
Uh, but I'm still FTP. I'm still uh, 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 F2P, uh, I should say. Uh, 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 free to play. I'm, I'm still on that uh, rung. Ugh. And I am the longest lasting free to play player. I haven't seen anyone else who else is, is, is on that level. So, uh, congrats to me, but it is a, but, a must. It, it is, it, it's a, it's a rigmarole. You have to log in to stay, to stay okay. You have to log in at least three times a day. Each login will take you about half hour, 45 minutes. Well, depends on what you have to do. And part of it is is that there is a minimum that you have to do, and then there's option, uh, then there are options. The goal is to balance your 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 needs with your wants. There's there are two different things. There are things that you want, and the things that you need. And in this game, you have to balance the two in order to achieve your particular goal. It's not a quick goal. You understand? It's a long-term goal. Now, let me give you a time and date stamp. It is Saturday, actually. It's a, uh, uh, 5.40 in the afternoon or in the evening, however you want to put it. Uh, what was the date? It's September 19th. Uh, so <laughs> this end to the video, this end to the video for the 18th is, uh, is uh, something more significant. And the thing that, because we're going to do the long weekend on Saturday... I have a little bit more time to start the video, so we'll, I'll probably end up starting it on the scooter. I'll probably do the vlog on the scooter. When I'm doing the vlog on the scooter, that will be the opening, uh, the opening uh, segment, the opening uh, clip for uh, uh, for uh, the weekend video. Because uh, this is what's happened. I was debating whether to do this or not, where one day runs into the next. And this is what's happened. One day has run into the next, but it's not on the weekend. It's... Uh, uh, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday—they're all going to be one continuous day. It's it, it, it's it's a bizarre uh, uh, type of existence where when this happens on a regular basis, and a lot of it has to do with uh, when I go to sleep, uh, when I dream, and then what happens is If what I dream stays with me to, to the point where it's, un, it's, it's unresolved to the point where I want to continue it forward, and even though I'm awake, I can't continue it forward. I can't continue the, the thoughts and the, uh, the, uh, the, the plot line. I, I can have the... the, uh, and the it's, it's, it's a plot line. And you can... You can uh, continue it forward. And the thing is, is that what do you do to continue it forward? In terms of what are your reactions, what are your behaviors, how do you sort of sit and, and, and deal with the issues. And that's what it is. There are issues that come in during the sleep. And this is what people with visions, they don't necessarily understand that these visions are generated from within their mind. It's not necessarily that something is physically there. It's from within their mind. And it's, it's, it's what they're trying to create now is that Google has something called... Um, augmented reality. There are these glasses you can put on and you can sort of, or you can hold, if you use the, uh, Google has the thing called lens. And if you hold it up and you, you see the camera, you can see different objects beside them that are not physically there. They're in the camera, uh, but they're being presented as if they're real as part of the scenery that you're looking at. But they're not actually there. This is what occurs within, with, with for those who are lucid dreamers. I'm, um, I'm talking to a friend who uh, uh, has met a girl who is uh, of this line, but doesn't necessarily understand. She sees she sees these visions, but doesn't necessarily understand what they mean. And in many cases, there isn't an there isn't necessarily a, a, a meaning to be garnished from it. But but there is a uh, or an an, an emotion to be grasped. There is the, an emotion to be understood. There is issues to be resolved. Whether the person recognizes them or not, and sometimes you need this thing to occur repeatedly in order really to get things. And even then, it, it, it because you are not a perfect person, uh, there are always going to be issues to resolve. So, 
And then it, it, it goes back to this, this whole thing again. Once you start going down this line and start sort of doing the work for this and do, you're on the path, you look back at those who are saying, well, my problems are easily solved by saying you were worth it. You know, you have to have positive affirmations, positive affirmations in order to have a positive attitude. Well, not necessarily. And the thing is, you don't always have to have a positive attitude. Sometimes it's just being neutral. You know, Oh, well, I have to do this, I have to do this, you know. And however you're feeling, you, you put your feelings aside and you move forward. That's not a feeling of you or worth it. That's, it has, that's a feeling that, well, there's nothing left to do but to get the work done. And, 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 and the Tannerites are experiencing this. Their house flooded, and yet, and they couldn't get any money to, 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 uh, to, get pe to pay people to come in because uh, the insurance wouldn't cover anything, so they started doing the work themselves. And they had a neighbor who, uh, basically the Ohana venture, who came over and helped them, because they had experienced these floods before, because they were living in the area longer before. Nice area, but it has these flooding problems. And he just plowed through the work. It didn't matter how he was feeling. He said, this is what our necessities are, this is what you have to do. You have to you know, define the wants from the needs. And then what happens, your needs come first and the wants come afterwards. And that's not an issue of you are worth it. That's an issue of you no know, no refunds. We're moving forward regardless of how we feel. 